Hey guys, Tarkat here, and I just want to briefly talk about the Azerite and Upgrade sharing change. Um, I briefly touched on this on my last video, and it wasn't something that I cared too much about, but people kept asking me my opinion on it since I said that I actually liked the character-based progression, and it seems that I'm very much in the minority, so I just thought I'd briefly explain my point of view. Um, so as you can see here, uh, some feedback, la -di da um, we've decided that it will be uh, made on one character available to all characters they have in that league. After decision, we believe this reason will change. We'll make it later in the week. And they go on to talk about improvements coming to flare and dynamite usage. Just to prove this is actually an opinion that I had, and I'm not just trying to like cause a stir. Um, this is my Delves pros and cons review, as you can see, published on August 9th. And one of the main pros I talk about is character progression, we think. And just to play it to you. So what else is in here? Um, the scaling, we think, I've asked Ziggy, seems to be character, not account-based. This is very important from my point of view. The reason why I think it's important that the um, progression is character rather than account-based is this little cart thing that follows you around. You can purchase upgrades for it. If you could purchase all of the upgrades across the entire account, it will kill a lot of the potential progression, um, especially from a hardcore point of view. Um, I almost like to play softcore this league. This mechanic seems very uh, favoured to softcore, the whole infinitely scaling, pushing bills to the absolute limits. But it could be kind of lame from a hardcore point of view where you have one really good character, you fully uh, progress everything, fully upgrade everything, and then you get a really overpowered, fully upgraded car on your next new character when you rip or reroll or whatever. So yeah. And I go on for a little bit. But yeah, so this has kind of been my point of view for a while. Um, now, there are a few things in Path of Exile which um, are account-bound. There are some things that are character-bound. And just because one system is character-bound or one system is account-bound doesn't mean that everything should be. A lot of people are saying, well, the Atlas is account-bound, so why isn't this account-bound? Well, you could say, well, the Pantheon is character-bound, so why isn't everything character-bound? There is uh, inconsistencies and consistencies all over uh, Path of Exile. Um, nothing is perfectly designed. A lot of people would tell you that they don't like Atlas and Atlas needs improving or changing. A very common thing that we've talked about a lot on Bay Class is how they could change the Atlas to be more character specific so that you can focus on different things for different characters. Some people really want character specific Atlases. Some people want account specific Atlases. You know, different people want different things. Some people really want character based Pantheon. Some people want more account based. Personally, I think that Pantheon should be more account based. Um, because of the way that you have to, once you've unlocked it, and then you set your atlas up in a certain way, having to unlock and relock maps is quite different. So why do I feel differently um, in terms of the cart? Now, a lot of people are approaching this topic from the point of view that you only do delve to do upgrades. And a lot of people are talking about this topic as if they've been playing this league for months upon end, and they're like, I could never play another build. Um you know, cool rolling a new character and feel awful, yet this had me considering re-rolling until now. Wasn't sure I was going to do it all league. People are saying stuff like, you know, I would never be able to play a whole build for the entire league, and we're three days in. So, you know, today is Monday. It launched uh, Friday night for me. So you go three, four days in, people are acting as if they were never able to make another character ever again. Obviously, there's a middle ground for both. Um, I'm not a massive fan of one extreme balance to another. And um, regardless on your personal opinion on the matter, it's very extreme from a design point of view to design content around, uh, we've specifically designed it so it has a set character by character progression to then without any other changes to Azerite acquisition, go from that straight into it's now completely account wide. Completely removing personal opinion, that from a raw design point of view is incredibly extreme. Um, I would have much rather seen a middle ground um, you could have done catch-up mechanics. You could have had it where Azerite um, is increased at lower levels. I think the early Azerite progression is pretty bad. And if the early Azerite progression was smoothed out, then it would seem like much less of an issue. Um, another thing to consider, a lot of people feel bad um, that their time delving has been wasted from specifically a more hardcore than softcore point of view. I am traditionally a hardcore player. I normally only ever play hardcore. But I made a point of playing softcore for Delve because I knew Delve wouldn't be very hardcore friendly. And that was part of my decision making for going softcore. Now that being said, um, if you're playing hardcore, you're having a lot of fun, you've hit level 90 character, you've spent all this time upgrading everything, and then you die to some random cart bug or a flare not working, and you lose all of your progress, it would feel very frustrating. And I could hunt and understand why those people are complaining about Azrite not being account wide. Now, what I think would be a much cleaner middle ground as at least a testing period, because I think it's better to test the waters 
Um, even if they end up going completely account bound a week from now, two weeks from now, a month from now, I think we'd better to try a middle step first. So my proposed middle step would be that uh, progression is still character bound, but all resources are account bound. That means that Azerite is account bound, and that means that Sulfite is account bound. So for the people playing in hardcore, if they die and they lose all their uh, progression. Well, any unspent Azerite, any unspent uh, Sulfite, they can use it on their next character. Now, when you get into the higher levels and the higher upgrades, um, it costs thousands to do each upgrade. So if you were to die and you had a couple of thousand uh, left over, you could use that to easily purchase a bunch of new upgrades um, from a base level. Um, I also think that if the Flare and the Dynamite system was improved, um, then the upgrades spent on those would again feel less punishing. Um, when the point of view of flares feeling useless unless you've got uh, so much radius investment into them that you can kind of make it around the mechanics, then obviously the upgrades feel super vital. Um, I think it'd be better if the uh, upgrades, you had a faster progression earlier and they, you know, it was a much more reasonable progression um, than the massive one extreme to another. Um, one of the main arguments people say why they want, you know, um, account bound rather than character bound is uh this is the main thing i heard in the stream today Taki, i can only play on a limited schedule um if i'm only playing on a limited schedule and i want to push into the super deep delves then how am i ever going to do that now it depends if you're looking at this from a competitive point of view or a non-competitive point of view from a competitive point of view i actually prefer stuff being character based the reason why i say that is we'll look at it from both a hardcore and a softcore point of view so let's say that uh rise is pushing delves in hardcore and there's a very close race between all the different people in hardcore on pushing the delves the deepest. One of them dies, they lose all of their upgrades. Now, this is a very harsh reset, and it means that there is a real risk to dying, as, you know, that just happens with hardcore. If you don't like a uh, loss of progression in hardcore, you probably shouldn't be playing hardcore. Now, let's say that Ryze, you know, has been pushing along. He hasn't died, he's been doing his Spectre build. But let's say that Uber has come up with an even better, more efficient build, which requires a different ascendancy. Now, because Uber pre-planned it better in this case and has the more well-rounded character, he has that advantage. If Rai suddenly wanted to hop onto the new hot thing to be competitive and start a new character, he'd have to choose. Do I want to start a new character and start again from scratch upgrades wise? Or do I just do, you know, what I'm currently doing and not lose it? I think with everything being account bound, you have a rich get richer system where the people who play the most just have the most advantage. And that's fine in PB. That's how PB currently works. But that's like the main complaint I always get on Bay class. Um, obviously, I've been doing content in this game for a long time. And the main complaint I always seem to hear is I hate this game being balanced around the 1%. I hate how people who know life have the main advantage. Stuff being account bound gives more advantage to no lifers um, than people on a limited time schedule. If you're someone who only plays like 16 hours a week rather than 16 hours a day and you only play for the first month of the league, you're probably going to play, you know, what, like five builds, 10 builds, I don't know, but you're going to play a certain amount of builds. You'll probably, you know, your first build of the league, you'll be playing something super meme, Herald of Agony, Dom Blow, something super janky because it looks cool, it looks fun. You just sort of struggle about for the first week. It feels kind of okay ish. And then you watch a new math or video or you watch this new video on Reddit and it's like this insane boss killer. And you go, wow, I want to do that. I want to take that build and I want to push into delves. You then make your super specialized delving character and you push the delves as far as you can. Now, in that case, um, when you start delves again, you start back from one. You don't have your previous like delve 300 from your first character. So you have to go back through the delves, unlocking everything. What do you do along that process? You gain Azerite. By smoothing out the early Azerite progression, um, you can have it so that when you start your new character, you get that nice, clean, early progression. You go through and, you know, you can do the content. Um, other than the flare stuff being super punishing, for the early, like, 100 stuff, which is where most people are at currently, day three of the league, you know, the stuff isn't super vital having those upgrades. If it's a system where two weeks from now, three weeks from now, people cannot play the game because stuff is character bound, not account bound, make the change 100%. But I just think it's incredibly knee-jerk reactionally to go from one extreme to the other. This just reminds me of Necronets 2.0 in Best Row League. Um, personally, I think that if you design an entire system with one clear intention in mind, stick to that, you know. Um, because otherwise, it means one of two things. It either means that um, the guys at GGG are either designing things poorly 
because they're purposely putting systems in that they think is right, which is apparently completely wrong to what the player base thinks. And something needs to be looked at there in the case of Necronets, which I was also against, and in the case of the account-wide progression. Um, or it means you have people who really believe in a certain design path, they chose a particular design path, and then they're completely going against what they believe is best for the game because people are upset. And if that's the thing, sure. I think definitely fix bugs, definitely change flares, definitely change dynamite. Those are 100% in need of improvement. No questions asked. The dynamite system is terrible. The flare-based system is terrible. But I think, you know, with this, we could give it a bit longer. But yes, I don't want to go on for too long. That is my very simplified point of view. And I'm sure on Bay Class, which I'm planning for this Saturday coming, we can have a much more in-depth conversation with more different varying points of views. If you think I've missed anything out, then let me uh, know down below. I'm Taki. Have a good day. And... Bye-bye.